Ibigay sa inyo mga bagong iskolar at inhenyero ng bayan. Welcome to the University of the Philippines Department of Geodetic Engineering. I am Ate Freda, your Department of Geodetic Engineering representative to the Engineering Freshie Council, and I am here to guide you as you take your first steps sa inyong paglalakbay bilang mga bagong isko at iska. But before we dive right in, let's get to know our beloved department for just a little bit first. With that, here are some fast facts about the Department of Geodetic Engineering, or as we know it, DGE. So fact number one, DGE was first formally established in 1937, just 27 years after the College of Engineering was established in 1910, which another fun fact is the fifth college unit of the University of the Philippines. Fact number two, among the 36 schools that offer the BS Geodetic Engineering program all over the Philippines, the department was chosen by the Commission on Higher Education or CHED to be the country's center of excellence in geodetic engineering in 2001. The department is also proud of its consistent record in the percentage of passers in the GE board examinations and maintains a tradition of producing top notchers. Kaya fingers crossed malala and manifesting board top notcher cutie. And lastly, fact number three. There are currently two geodetic engineering student organizations. The Geodetic Engineering Club, established in August 15, 1937, and the Society of Geodetic Engineering Majors, or GEOP, which was established in June 11, 2001. You may check out their Facebook pages to get to know them more and malay nyo. Isa sa mga home orgs na to ang mag-introduce sa inyo sa pagiging BS Org in UP Diliman. Please do watch out for these organizations in our local college council's initiatives para mas maging sulit and fulfilling ang college experiences nyo. Now that we've gotten to know DGE, sagutin naman natin kung ano nga ba ang geodetic engineering. Oh guys, to be honest, nung nalaman ko na nakapasa ako sa UP Diliman, ang unang mga tanong ko sa sarili ko ay, Ha? Huh? GE? Geo? So puro ba to ba yung pag-aaralan namin? I had a vague idea of what GE students do. But kung titignan natin, in comparison to other ENG programs, Geodetic Engineering is one of the most underrated. And yet, isa siya sa mga pinaka-in-demand ngayon. With that, let's get to know what geodetic engineering is. According to the Professional Regulation Commission or PRC, geodetic engineering is a professional and organized act of gathering physical data on the surface of the earth with the use of precision instruments. From that definition palang, we can see that GE involves a lot of studying regarding the earth's topography. However, Ano nga bang ginagawa natin sa data na yan? Sa panahon ngayon, surveyors are one of the most in-demand professions lalo na there is a rise in the construction industry. In layman's terms, ang ginagawa ng isang surveyor ay pagsukat ng lupa, paghati ng lupa into subdivisions, pag-prepare ng lot plans, and many more. We also have topographic, mining, hydrographic surveying, among others. Pero, hindi natatapos ang trabaho ng isang geodetic engineer sa pagsasurvey. We also have cartography, global navigation satellite systems, photogrammetry, and remote sensing. All of which can be seen in different technological advancements, lalo na sa ating navigation apps tulad ng Google Maps, Google Earth, and Waze among others. Innovations are continuously being made in our field. Now that you've got a glimpse of what it's like to be a geodetic engineer, let's have a quick run-through of our curriculum. Don't worry if hindi siya masyadong detailed because you will be encountering our curriculum a lot more during the department freshman orientation and through the freshie kit that will be given to you once you have been registered. Currently, the BSGE program follows a four-year curriculum as opposed to the former five-year curriculum. It is composed of una, the complementary and supplemental courses which includes ang ating general education, Rizal, Mathematics, Physics, 
physical education, NSTP, and electives. And of course, major courses such as general surveying, surveying applications, math and programming, geodesy, digital cartography, and many more. It is important to note that these major courses are seasonal, meaning that if first sem lang siya ina offer, then first sem lang siya available, and it goes the same for mid year and second sem offerings. The curriculum only differs if you are a non STEM senior high school graduate, in which case, you have to take a bridging program to make up for the classes you were not able to take in senior high such as basic calculus. However, do not worry about getting lost and overwhelmed because you will be assigned with registration advisors who will guide you through the processes, advise you on your classes, and be with you until you graduate. Now that we've run through the curriculum and a little bit about registration, tumungo na tayo sa exciting part for today's video. I am going to be sharing a little bit about my experience as a GE freshie, as well as things you need to know and prepare as you start your journey as a geodetic engineering FST. Wow! One word to describe my freshie journey is overwhelming, mainly because maraming bagay dito sa UPD ang bago para sa akin. Mula sa mga proseso, mga bagong muka, bagong kultura, there are a lot of things that you will encounter that will take some getting used to. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon na hindi hindi tayo sigurado kung ano nga ba yung magiging takbo ng ating kinabukasan. That is why I am here to guide you and equip you with the knowledge you may need to give you a heads up of what you might expect. Una, let's talk about being a GE Freshie in terms of academics. One of the things that you will be encountering the most are angles in the form of interior angles, bearings, and azimuths when you compute for the problems given to ating majors. GE during the fresh year involves a lot of geometry, theorems, and laws that you need to be aware of. Aside from that, in math, you will be dealing with differentiation and integration, while in physics, you will be diving deeper into familiar topics such as motion, work in energy, momentum, and Coulomb's law, among others. That is why scientific calculators will be your best friend along with scratch papers. It would also be very useful if you brush up on your Excel or spreadsheet skills kasi it is a very big help lalo na with problems that involves a very long and repetitive solution. You can also use it as a tool to check if yung solution ba na ginawa mo ay tama and minsan the profs allow you to submit that spreadsheet file as your solution itself. Also, depending upon kung ano yung magiging setup natin this school year, expect to be studying a lot about theories that you can apply in real life. GE is one of those courses na kadalasan ay nasa labas at gumagawa ng mga fieldworks. That is why I really recommend it to people who like to be adventurous and explore. Pero if ever man na mag-F2F tayo or blended learning, be sure to prepare a lot of sunscreen and sleeves to avoid too much sun damage. Ngayon, let's move on to org culture in UP Diliman. I am not sure of how orgs work in your respective former school, pero ako, back in high school, orgs only needed you to sign up and attend an orientation for you to be accepted as a member. Well, here in UP, you need to apply for an org that you are interested in and undergo an application process that involves missions and tasks over the course of a whole semester. This is to test your willingness and commitment to join the organization. Kaya it's up to you guys kung gaano karaming orgs yung gusto nyong pagsabay-sabayan ng application process. Pero syempre, hinding-hindi mawawala ang ating mga student councils. There are currently four entities that you should watch out for as a GE Freshie. These are the University Student Council or USC, the University Freshie Council or UFC, the Engineering Student Council or ESC, and of course, the Engineering Freshie Council or EFC. Among these four, the Freshie Councils are the latest installments created to address the unique concerns of freshmen, shifties, and transferees, or as we call it, FSTs may encounter. They also act as the highest embodiment of the constituents they serve. 
one word to describe my council experience would probably be unexpected because I certainly did not expect the level of autonomy or freedom that student councils have in UP. That is why you really have to be responsible enough and be accountable for every action that you take and ensure that you only serve the best interests of the student body. With that, hindi ko kayo i-etchesen and sugarcoat by saying na madali lang ang pagbalance ng ACADs, orgs, and council works because it definitely is challenging. However, despite the multitudes of challenges that you may be faced with, it is comforting to know that you have your fellow council members alongside you and fulfilling to see that you are contributing not just to the student body but also to the communities outside of the university. Truly, hindi ka lang naging isang iskolar ng bayan, kundi isang iskolar para sa bayan. I hope that you were able to get a glimpse of your future as an ISCO. This was your EFC DGE rep, Adifreda, and be sure to stay tuned and follow our social media platforms. We are UP Engineering Freshie Council on Facebook, at EFC underscore UPD on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, UP Engineering Freshie Council on YouTube. Welcome to the University of the Philippines at Buli, pagpupugay sa inyo, mga bagong Inhinyero ng bayan.